In the strength, yeah, that comes from the hard knocks that life throws at us. And we Nigerians, we know all about that. Oh, a deadly right. You don't stay down, you get up and fight. Sure, it's about speed, technique, quality of the punches, reach. But the real fight is with myself. It's the power, but it's the speed as well. But I can't carry this heavyweight title by myself. There's always got to be someone in my corner. And that's why I believe in GLOW. We have that same tenacity, that Nigerian fighting spirit, Nigerian fighting that spirit. makes us game changers. That makes us game you changers. Have to dig deep you have to dig to be a world deep champion. To be a world champion. Yeah, we Nigerians. Yeah, we Nigerians. Yeah, we know all about that. Yeah, we know all about that. What a fight! What a fight! GLOW, a halo, GLOW, a halo. What's up, boxer fan? I want to talk about um, Anthony Joshua and um, Tyson Fury. I just saw the interview uh, Tyson Fury with um, IFL TV dude, and um, it's a long, it's a long interview though. Y'all should check that out. Uh, he made some some points that I think he, he he's right. He said, like, um, AJ quit on himself. Then he said that um, the results to go be the same. And he said, once you quit on yourself, it's kind of an easy way to quit again. And uh, he said, like, um, what else did he say? Uh, yeah, he said that if you don't beat uh, Luis in the rematch, he should just quit boxing. So, um, then he said something about the Klitschko, he don't like the Vladimir, talking about like Vladimir is coming, calling him names, and then, uh, he got points. The fact that, um, let's put it this way, all right? I made another video before uh, saying about the you know, the knockdown that probably what the rumors was like um, Anthony Joshua was knocked down and inspiring and I said like you know if you be knocked down inspiring that means you have a poor defense and once you have a poor defense so the opponents still go use that so um so first thing is did Anthony Joshua quit on himself? It all depends on how you look at it, right? You know what I mean? It's like on that seventh run, right? The the ref asking you okay was like you okay? You know, are you okay? You know, he was like, Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. So walk up to me. He hang up to the rope. He hang up to the rope and he don't want, you know, move. But I guess, you know, the feet was gone or the or the legs are were gone, right? That's the reason why he quit. In that way, you can say he probably quit on himself a lot. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and um, <sighs> I don't know, put it this way. Um, we don't know how mentally is anti Joshua. How mentally he, you know, um, he could tell a lot of things, right? He could say, I'm not being bothered by this, but that deep inside, maybe it's just a different story, right? Probably he tell us what we want to hear. So it all depends on the AJ. He know himself. He know the reason why he whatever happened or whatever happened in the camp. And uh, see, um, the fact that he don't give any excuse why he lost. We or uh, the rest of the boxing fans, like you know, this is what happened. It can be knocked out, concussion, shit, and uh, panic attack, and like, you know, this is how. And he denied those. You can call it denied those allegation, whatever it is. Um, but the fact that he lost the fight, and if you watch the whole fight, AJ didn't win. I don't think AJ won any of those rounds. Till this fight will stops. 
in a way to me, I feel he lost the whole round. Round one, two, seven. He lost every fucking round. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of AJ. Don't get twisted. But you got, you know, sometimes you got to say the way it is, right? And I think he, I think he lost the whole round. You know, and um, so put it this way. Um, I don't know if he quit on himself. He know better than anybody. You know what I mean? He know how he felt. He know what exactly what was going on. You know, I can't say, it, but if he's mentally strong, it's a different ball game. But if he's mentally weak, then he got a problem on the rematch. I remember when he had that. You know, when he was dropped on the amateur by Dylan White, right? And Dylan White was saying, like, um, I beat you before I beat you again. And uh, AJ proved the opposite, the otherwise. That I'm mentally strong and we saw what happened. And uh, in most cases, when a lot of people keep saying, once you do it first time, you go do it again. In most cases, that happen like that, right? We also remember um, Tony Bellew with David Head, right? He beat him first time. And I remember AJ was interviewed by Alfred Dude, and he's like, he did it before he did it again. And uh, which happens, you know? Um, you see, now... Andy Ruiz stopped building confidence on himself. Last time he said, like, you know, when I'm done with AJ, I'm going for Wilder for the undisputed, right? So this dude already stopped building that confidence on himself. And a fighter that built confidence on himself is a dangerous fighter. You know what I mean? So it's up to you now to break him down, to break that confidence down. Can you can AJ do that? I don't know. We know Mexican fighters, they can take punch. You know what I mean? And um uh, Andy Ruiz is not so fast the way people look at it. Of course it's faster than uh, AJ, but on the on the on leg movements, it's not faster than AJ on the legs, you know what I mean? And um now, I see two ways. Two ways AJ can beat this dude, right? I don't know how the stamina of AJ, I don't know the stamina of, um, of um, Andy Ruiz. And now Andy Ruiz has enough time to train hard ever before for this fight. And um, they know now, you know, I, I, I know the Andy Ruiz camp, they know AJ is going to come in on rematch, you know, try to box from outside, you know, use that, 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 that rich difference that, that, you know, boxing from outside, not go in. And they expect that. And they go be prepared for that. So how do AJ even beat this dude? To me, I feel surprised them because if you try to go in like but box from, from range and use your height and use your reach because they know that's what you're coming to do the next fight and they go train for that. They go prepare for that, you know. Then you in there for a long, big fight. Surprise them. Something they just don't expect. Like just go in there the first round just kind of set him up, boom, knock him out. The first round. You know what I mean? Don't play like try to jab, 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 you know, move around. Just surprise them. To me, that's the best way because they're not ready for that. They didn't prepare for that. They might probably think you could come in, take it slow as usual, jab, 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 and, you know, Surprise them. Throw that hair maker. Throw that, that punch. 
uh, Derek used on um, on Takam. That punch that comes from outside, the one Deontay Wilder always use. Try that out. They don't expect that. Or another way, take him to the you know to a late round. Hopefully, he gas out. But if you don't gas out, you ain't there for a problem, man. Um, should AJ quit if he lose the rematch? I don't know, man. <laughs> Should he? Uh, I don't know, but I just don't want to imagine that he he gonna lose he gonna lose that that rematch. I don't imagine that because if he really do imagine lost that rematch, then all those big fight with Fury and Deontay, you know, um, this whole thing is gone. You know, if he lost the rematch. I think it's I think it's AJ's done. What else? He can just retire. I mean he's done. You know what I mean? And um um yeah, it's like let me know what you gotta think about the whole thing. You know, I really somehow agreed to Tyson Fury about, you know, how strong is AJ mentally? And um, if he lose the the rematch, he can I swear just you know start boxing. I mean, you already made enough money, so that money is not gonna be issue. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but um, let me know what you guys think about the whole thing and. Um, um, we, will AJ be back to that normal AJ we know, you know, who had that fighting heart, who, you know, determined to do things, flip things around. Do he still have that in him? I don't know. We're going to find out in a couple of months, right? Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the whole AJ and uh, what Tyson Fury just said on this IFL TV thing. All right.